welcome to another Pro Wrestling Rundown, where this is going to be a special episode, um, for part of the reason that I'm, I'm missing something or someone, it feels kind of weird. Well, hopefully he'll show up. I... Anyway, today's special, we're going to be talking about the new promotion that just... Is that... Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, and I do mean ever, we're getting a phone call, and this is not a call-in show. Um, hello? Edwards, is that you? X-Man, where are you at? Well, I'm over here, the, um, the, uh, the place where we shoot, the set's gone, and everything's gone. We moved again. I mean, I, I went inside, and... Um, it's dark and really scary. Didn't you get the memo? We moved, man. We moved again? Yes, again. Oh, no, nobody sent me the memo. I think Steve Kessling... I was wondering why my office was empty. As long as that sandwich wasn't still there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but remember when I got... Steve Kessling always got upset because I put a hoagie in the blender. Yeah, yeah, I follow you guys on Facebook. Unfortunately, I remember that conversation. I don't know how... Yeah, and then he said something about Ted, and nobody cares about Ted. You didn't stumble upon his grave, did you? Never mind. No, I, I take flowers every Friday at 4 a.m. It's kind of spooky, but I still do it. So where where are we at now? I, I need to know these things. I, I, think, I, think, I don't think Steve Kessling likes me. Probably not, but... He said something about hearing snoring from my office, and, and I make sure to turn the radio up real loud so you can't hear me snore. So between the loud music and the snoring. Well, you know what, either way, I've got a show to take care of here since you're not here. I'll send you the... I'll text you later. I'll give you the new address. Uh, All right, well... I'm, I'm sad I'm not there for the filming tonight. I mean, I really want to, you know, we haven't done one since September, and a lot of things have happened, and, you know, uh, who's the WWE champion right now? Randy Orton. Oh, I think we already, that was the last episode. You know what, uh, let me, uh, I can't believe you missed it again. We missed this. Tell you what, actually, let me get through this episode, and, um, We'll set up a time where we can film again. Uh, I'll just make this one a quick special episode. How's that sound? All right. Well, sorry about that. Uh, tell, uh, you know, tell, uh, tell everyone that I, I send my love and happy Thanksgiving and Feliz Navidad and you wait until I see Kessling. Yeah, you, you get at him. I'm a cameraman tonight. Frank's here somewhere. I think he, I think he just left in disgust too. So, who did? You know what? Let me get back to the episode. I'll talk to you. I'll deal with you later. All right. Uh, don't don't get mad. I, I I'm at the office, just not the right one. I think I'm gonna go to my car because I think I hear sirens. All right. Well, I guess I'll catch up with you later then. Next, let me get back and let's do this episode. Well, let me do this episode now. All right. I'll I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. All right. Thanks for the call. And for nothing. So anyway, folks, I guess without the X-Man by my side, I'll just uh, briefly go over this. We'll get another episode out, hopefully shortly. Uh, I want to tell you about the new promotion in town called Power to the People. I had an opportunity to go there check it out. I thought it was a pretty good show. Uh, Martin, an old sound tech from back in the day, he went along with me. We had a good time at the show. Got a chance to talk to uh, owner Doug Diggler. Thank you for the hospitality, Doug. Official program from the show. A couple good matches. Uh, the only negative thing I'm going to say, and, uh, and Doug, don't take this personally, man, that the sound was not that great. We had a hard time hearing promos in our, where we were sitting. And I will admit, your announcer was definitely dressed a little better than what our announcer used to be. I like the tux. So there were some familiar names, if you're familiar with the Altoona wrestling scene over the years. Jimmy the High Flying Hippie was back in action. He had a pretty good outing. Uh, a couple of guys from the independent scene, such as uh, DC Bentley, 
He was in action. He had a pretty good match in all in all. And the matches were good. Um, that guy Shields, though, since he cut his hair, he's got a picture in the program with long hair. With a cut, he looks like Mr. Kennedy. It's not an insult. Take it as a compliment, my friend. G. Raver is in action. That was the scariest part of the night. He missed the flip through the ropes. Uh, I guess a senton plancha, whatever you want to call it. And you hear the sickening thud. I've seen enough and heard enough injuries being at ringside before. And that just is something that still turns your stomach. Believe me, guys. But he was pretty amazing. I couldn't believe he finished the match. Good job, G. Raver. Great show. Awesome. Congratulations. Uh, Zuboff, Zuboff against... Uh, I think I pronounced his name. Don't beat me up if it's wrong. Brock Singleton. I like Brock Singleton. He, the way he plays in the crowd, amazing. But uh, that was a pretty good, that was a good match. And then what set up to the main event is you had Mike Zeke. I believe he's a local guy training. He's training with Power Pro. Get in touch with them. They have a Facebook. They are training people right now. He beat up on Mike, Shane Taylor beat up on Mike Zeke, set up for the main event, which was uh, Shane Taylor versus big time Bill Collier. Collier came out to make the save for Mike Zeke and then proceeded to fight Shane in the main event. Good back and forth matchup. That, that Shane Taylor, wow. Uh, again, nothing personal, but I think a freaking gorilla escaped from the zoo when I saw this guy. Unbelievable. Big time took it right to him. It was just a, a great back and forth matchup. Main event of the night, fantastic. I mean, the whole undercard to the top. Good job, guys. Welcome back to the area. I'm glad to see local promotion. Now, I'm not saying anything bad against guys like Phoenix Pro. Phoenix Pro runs mostly Johnstown, Ebensburg, Punxsutawney, out that way a little bit. I'm glad to see wrestling back in Altoona. Good wrestling back in Altoona. It's what we need. This is a huge town for wrestling, so this is great. By the way, power to the people, Power Pro Wrestling. They're working in conjunction with RWA out of West Newton, Pennsylvania. A couple of guys like G. Raver, Ashley Amherst, who I believe was at the Power Pro show. A couple of these guys are working on both promotions, so they're kind of trading talent. So, you know what, if you're wanting to get out to see some good pro wrestling, Go out and see them in West Newton. Should be a pretty good show. Renegade Wrestling Alliance, RWA. They have a website, rwalive.com. There's a website for Leaf uh, Power Pro. Apparently forgot to write it down, which is something I don't usually do. But check out their Facebook, The Power Pro. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I promise we'll have a longer episode. We'll have a better episode when we're fully staffed. But I gotta say, it was kind of nice. I actually get through an episode without wrestlers falling over, somebody screwing me up, but me. Well, that was real nice, real nice and peaceful for a change. Hey, I can hear you still. Good night, everybody. <laughs>